Hi, I'm Faith. And I'm Nasa. And this is Go Go Ladies. Ladies. A podcast about navigating life, love, and so much more from a 40 plus perspective. Summer, summer, summer time. So just sit back and unwind. Oh. You know, do you feel like you get summer still? Do I get summer? Yeah, do you feel like you get summer still? No, I'm not a teacher. I know, I know, but like, I look forward, you know, I'm a summer kid. Right. Oh, wait a minute. Before we go any further, go Run ahead. Run it back. Run it back. Go okay. ahead, Faith. Hello. Welcome to the Go Ladies podcast. I'm Faith. I'm Nisa. Bow, 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 bow. <laughs> okay. Hi. This is what we do. So, yes. Exactly. So, oh summertime Mm -hmm. I look forward to summer every year Mm -hmm. and the past few years obviously there was COVID and whatnot so that made summer not so summery Um, and my workload is always stupid Mm -hmm. so I feel like summer comes and goes and I miss it Mm -hmm. like I miss it and I'm like what happened like how did I miss summer but I did um here it is June I'm trying to schedule a beach vacation in July okay it's looking tricky right now because of some other obligations Mm -hmm. and I'm like I'm about to miss it again you don't what you don't have to okay you could do there are things you could do you could do weekend trips do a day trip you could just for a day go somewhere see something different eat good cuisine and come on back to the house you could do that there are options I'm here to help you <laughs> okay. lovey went to Nola for 12 hours and went back to Chicago just saying you love Nola I do. I was, I was in NOLA earlier this year. So I've been yeah. in them this year. So I understand that. Yeah. And I don't try to clock anybody's time right. or compare time because everybody manages their time and their day differently. Right. I'm not saying that that's impossible because it's not. There's nothing that's impossible. Um, impossible burger. But have you ever been so exhausted mm-hmm. that you're like, Hmm. I could go for 12 hours. I could sit on the plane, hop down there. But the thought of packing, the thought of it just, you need a nap first. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And even with planning vacations, that's okay. So before we came on the show, I was talking to Faith about I'm just stressed and I'm I'm tired. I'm done. I'm trying to have the summertime light episode, but it is what it is at this point. Um, so, and there's just a lot going on, a lot of moving pieces. Y'all heard about some of it last week, and yes, part two. No, part two. But have you ever been so exhausted that even fun feels burdensome? Hmm. Like, um, that's the question. Oh, you're asking me? No, no. <laughs> I'm lighthearted though, you know that. They say you go so hard in the paint. Not saying I, I mean, I do what I need to do to make life happen, but I, it's even a joke. Like my mother makes fun of me because she knows nothing will come between me and sleep or like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I, there are things for me that are a choice. But again, I'm also not a mother. I don't have the same obligations as you. So honestly, mm, no. Well, no. I've been there a couple times in my life to where the thought of fun seems burdensome. Oh, bless you. Because you're just exhausted. You're spent. There is nothing in me to give. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so you have to keep up with the things you have to do, right? Mm-hmm. But when it comes to like, oh, I come going to Charlotte for 4th of July. Mm-hmm. I want to see my family. Mm-hmm. 
I want to be asleep. You know what I mean? Yeah, you want both. Yep. Yeah. So yep. And there's not enough time to do both. Mm-hmm. So um, therein lies my dilemma. Like, I feel like I'm at a deficit. And until I at least get it back to zero, I can't get the fun happening because I'm just at a deficit. So thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Apparently I need therapy and I did call my therapist because yeah, I changed yeah. jobs recently. And so I had to figure all that out. You know, you change jobs, you change insurance and your therapist, you know, all that stuff. So, yeah. but yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty exhausted y'all. And and on that note, we're gonna go take a nap. No, I'm just... Right. Good night. I'll see y'all later. Faith got it. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Usually Good. we'll talk by the time we come on and to come and record and talk to you all. Nays and I are both very tired. I mean, because we do have demanding jobs and whatnot. But it's a joy to be able to talk to each other and it it's therapeutic and you know, when you all engage with us in feedback. But yeah, by the time we get to the recording, we've had a very long day typically. And yeah. and I'm thinking, I, for me, I'm like, I gotta record. I'm happy to, but I'm like, oh, I'm tired. <laughs> I got put on the face. I don't have on a face all day today. And I was like, oh, I'm putting this makeup because I gotta record this thing. I just put lipstick on. So, so yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it. Real, but it, real life. I feel like it's a labor of love. Like this is the one thing that I actually do enjoy, oh, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. Your vacation. I, I enjoy it, exactly. <laughs> now look, as soon as this is over, I gotta hop back on the computer, do some more work. But um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Here's what I've learned. Huh? Here's what I've learned, and okay. I should hold this to be true. Okay. Everything that looks good isn't good for you. That's an important one. Um, I think a lot of times because Black women's earning potential has not always, um, no, it's not always, has never been what it should be, mm -hmm. that when you have an opportunity to make more money, we jump at it um, and not think about the trade-off that we're giving up, you know? I had a position where I had a team and things were going well and I finally, you know, got that together and I took a jump for more money, you know, thought it was a different company, more opportunity, and I'm just like, you know everything that glitters ain't gold now I'm still new so it could you know pan out or it might not yeah. either way it's gonna be valid <laughs> so you know but that's a lesson I've learned and also don't jump right before summer starts because mm. you're in a learning curve mm -hmm. and like there's no time like for me to do anything yeah I, what's today Wednesday Mm -hmm. I haven't left my house since Sunday. Mm -hmm. You know, I have like I have not gone outside. So mm -hmm. I'm like, hmm, <laughs> I should. Yeah, I should, you should go in the backyard and do some grounding exercises. Exactly. exactly. Get in the dirt. Yeah. So, I, seriously, <laughs> like no. my um. My yard guy called and he was like, the, the guy who does the weeds. Yeah. And he was like, hey, have you seen any change? I said, I ain't seen my yard. I assume you're doing the work I pay you to do. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I ain't seen this yard. Yeah. I haven't opened up my deck yet. The pillows for my deck are still in my garage. Oh, God. I got to come help you with that. No, let me get it done. Yes, get it done. You have to go and grab. When I'm working from home, I, do, I try to go outside. Try to, not for a walk or anything, but just go stand outside and just get some fresh air and then come on back. Yeah. So I need better self-care practices. I know that I say that all the time and I follow them for about two weeks and then I fall off again. And yeah. yeah. I know he's going to watch this and be like, bitch, did I call you last week? And I'll be like, exactly. girl, yeah. But um, yes. Yeah. you need something that you can sustain that's like a a standing I do this yeah. and only you can determine what that is exactly I just want to work 12 hours a day not 15 that's it if I just work 12 if I get down to even 10 sometimes that'd be great I got you 
And that's because the workload is so heavy. I'm sure they're, they're not asking you to work that long. The or work, are they? The workload is that heavy. Mm -hmm. And um, there's an expectation of you being on all the time. Mm. I wasn't on this much when I was in news. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, hell, when I worked for the state. Mm hmm. You know, I was on all the time. I had a dispatch center. So yeah. I was on all the time. But even this one feels different. So I don't know. It must be in a different space too. You know, I'm older now. Yeah. I'm in a different space. I mm -hmm. recognize, I think if you had caught me 10 years ago, I'd have been like, oh, it's okay. But now that I realize life is finite. Yes. And I'm like, no, no, no. You better take a vacation. Exactly. I got one so it's summertime. I'm, I'm gonna take a vacation. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna take something somewhere. Do it. Mm -hmm. I like day trips. That's why I just brought. I mean, it's something small, but like literally, what you put on is what you ain't gotta worry about an overnight bag. You don't have like you talk about packing. Just go, you know, somewhere within driving distance, and then just come on back. Yeah. You know, just a thought. Just throwing that out there. Yeah, I shall do that. I like it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to make you go. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm like, make up. We're going to Memphis. <laughs> just because you like Memphis. No, that's just like Memphis for some reason. You know, I, <laughs> that's my city. One of them. So, I know. Yeah. Memphis and Detroit. What? Mm -mm. I'm going here too. I'll be home. Next month, y'all, I'll be there. So. Superman ice cream. Oh my God. Listen, on a lighter note. So they, so we get the Superman ice cream, me and my family, at this bakery that's in downtown Detroit, which is called Greek Town. So they changed the name. And my brother, <laughs> he texted me and was like, did you know they changed the name of Superman? Like, he was irate. <laughs> he What's was upset. I, I don't remember the name of it. I saw it last time I went home and I looked at the girl who was serving and I was like, is that Superman ice cream? She was like, yeah, it is. They changed the name. I don't know why. And I was like, well, I'm going to order two scoops of Superman ice cream. <laughs> she was like, I got you, girl. Thank you. I don't know. I'm going to call you Cash Clay. I'm going to call you Cash Clay. <laughs> right. Something weird. And then they have Superman in Chattanooga. It's the store, a little um, what's the moon pie store or whatever I went to when I was in Chattanooga. Okay. And I look and they call it Superman, but it is not the same Superman. My Michigan. Have, have you been to the Superman statue? No, over you have. I no. have. Yeah. Have. No. Do they have Superman ice cream? I don't know. We didn't eat there, but it was all Superman stuff, so. It was pretty cool. He dripping all down my hand on the cone. Like, oh. <laughs> For years, I've heard of the Superman ice cream. It's, this is yes, fun. it's the best ice cream. Shout out to Astoria Bakery. That's the bakery that they have so many delicious baked goods. But you, that's where I get the my my Superman ice cream. It's really good. That's yeah. funny. Okay. Yeah. It's summertime. It's summertime. And we've talked about summer and that, but y'all legit. It's we're gonna get into some light stuff and we're gonna keep you posted on all the life is life and but um life got hands. <laughs> That's what it's hands. called. Life got hands. Life life hurts. Well, what is the come Life comes at your past. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> but here in Nashville, it's very hot. And Nasa loves this weather, and she's going to give you her weather report. <laughs> it's 100 degrees. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> and you like this, and I don't know you why. haven't been outside in it. Isn't that awful? Here's the deal. I like, this is TMI, so mommy, close your ears. So I like to be laying outside naked, titties up in the sun. That's just, that's just me. Um, I purposely, when I go to Florida... I make sure I get a condo that has the sides that are solid 
Mm-hmm. So I can just lay on my balcony and just be me. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's just my thing. I like to be like like a cat laying in the sun. I like to just lay in the sun. So that's mm-hmm. my thing. I like the heat. Like I used to cut grass in this heat and enjoy it. I don't like being a hundred degrees when I have to wear dress clothes. Mm-hmm. That's different. I don't want to look sweaty in my dress clothes. You know, right. like when I had to work and wear a suit and walk outside, I'm like, ah, this sucks. Yeah. Yeah. But tank top and some jean shorts, we out here. You know, like let's go. And what kind of vehicle are you driving? In my dreams. Yes. My Jeep Wrangler. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And I can't I have Jeep Wrangler hair. I have appropriate Jeep Wrangler hair right now too. So if you have a Jeep Wrangler, come holler at me because I would love yeah. to on a Jeep Wrangler right now. So Aww. yeah. Yay! Yeah, you do love this heat, but I get it. You're very specific with what that looks like for you. So. Yeah. 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 Sunglasses, hot sun, cold <laughs> drinks. It's great. It's great. I like getting a tan. That's my <laughs> that's my favorite part. I'm like, oh, I got a glow. Look at me. That's oh, a good yes. part too. When you have the white skin contingents, <laughs> I'd be excited to get some color. All right. Yes. You're gonna change foundations. <laughs> and do. <laughs> that's my favorite part, honestly. And I do like just being outside. I like being a little bit. <laughs> like, yeah. well, I want to be outside so yes it's hot what else comes with summer there's always a summer anthem right no that's true so queen a b she dropped she said lose your job leave a job <laughs> okay yeah let's talk about it. she's talking to you um no. <laughs> but let's talk about let the Lord and, use you. <laughs> hello. And people are talking about did Beyonce just tell me to quit my job? Go ahead and quit your job and see how that works for you. Go right ahead. <laughs> talking about Beyonce told me to quit. <laughs> Let me tell okay. you. Right. Beyonce tell you to quit. You needed to quit before then. Let's be honest. Hello. And I'm like, you know, she's saying other things in the song too, but I love how that everybody heard that part. Like Beyonce said quit. So yeah. The song, what what's the name of the song? I forgot it already. Break my soul. <laughs> Thank you. Um, what do you think about it? I have my opinions, but I'm curious as to what you think. First listen, I was like, okay. Mm-hmm. Um, I like the quit your job part. I'm, I'm that's what I heard too. But yeah. um, because I would love to be a lady of leisure, so mm, <laughs> I would love to house. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Or something for, work this out but yeah. um <laughs> right yeah. but um I thought it was okay yeah. like okay. it was not the same as when I first heard drunk in love like when I heard that first I was like this is bang it you know like okay in the kitchen all right you know I am I am I am nasty but um shouldn't we all be um (laughs) see my body bro yes Mm -hmm. um but that's what I thought I thought oh this is this is good yeah I'm interested to hear the rest of the album to see how it comes together Mm -hmm. because it's never just one thing it's always a whole story so I want to hear the whole story okay yeah what about you I feel kind of the same way like I didn't I don't love it I like it it's likable but I don't love it. And I kind of feel like, similar to you, I feel like there are going to be other bangers on the actual album that I'm going to be like, oh, that's my song. You know what I mean? Uh, it's very much house music vibe, which we talked about this yeah. on our previous episode with like Drake. I love house music. Um, but, it, and I, I posted this in my stories, it's very much, uh, you have to show me love. It sounds like Robin S. That was the artist in the 90s. And I was like, you got to show me love <laughs> I know this song you know which it's fine it's all cyclical people use the same beats especially in house music it all it does kind of run together and sound like like reggaeton sometimes like listen or so, what is it EDM yeah you know the same kind of the, yeah the, yep yep 
So I, again, I like it, but I don't love it. I'm not like falling out and all of that. I was like, it's, it's all right. So I'm interested. I mean, the album drops July 29th. That's, we'll be in the thick of summer. So I'm interested to see like what else is coming from that project. And what's the story behind it? Like how yeah. does it come together? You know, is this going to be chapter four of the whole trilogy that was, you know, Lemonade and all those yeah. other things? Or is this, a whole new direction, you know? Yeah. Should be interesting to see. A whole new but I'm here for it. I, we are here for it. Exactly. And I'm here for it. And she come on tour, I'm going to be bobbing to the tour. That's what every, when somebody's like, go ahead and quit your job. You ain't going to have money to buy tickets to see her show. Show <laughs> I'm going to quit my job because you said it'd be unsafe. My kids don't notice. I told you last week. Y'all going to get your dollar together because, um, I'm going to sit well, and I hate for you to be a nosebleed by yourself, but I will have you sit up there, and I will not be up there. So are you a, in terms of concerts, obviously depends on the venue, yes. do you have to be like on the floor, or no. what is your favorite seat? Like, a, what's a good seat to you? I don't want to be on the floor, honestly, for the most part. I don't have to touch you. That's not my thing. Okay. Um... I prefer to be kind of like how I do at TPAC. Um, I like to be kind of elevated so I can mm -hmm. see everything. Mm -hmm. but quick access to a bathroom. Because, <laughs> you know, I mean, I have the pee. Do you have to make the pee? -pee. So mm -hmm. yeah. I like to go to the aisle so I can go to the yeah. bathroom. Mm -hmm. and so that's, I know it's the old people stuff, but that's what I like. You know, that's true. I, don't, I don't have to be on the floor. That's the reason I'm not seeing Tiana Taylor here. Mm -hmm. I don't want to stand the whole time you're in a concert. Like, I don't. That's not yeah. fun to me. I like a chair. I think my festival moments have gone past me. And okay. I like a chair. Because mm -hmm. I'm not going to stand the whole time. I'm going to sit down. I'm going to rest right. a little bit. Then my song come on. I'm back up. Eh, eh, eh. Then I'm going to rest a little bit. I'm going to have me a drink or three. And then oh. I'm going <laughs> to, you know, go pee. Go my song. Yeah. And then I'm going to come on back. You know, that's just how I do concerts now. Yeah, yeah. I'm I very much the comfort aspect of concerts, not the I'm be sure. pressed in the throng and try to touch your hand. I think with what with Tiana Taylor, just obviously we're here in Nashville, the venue you you're talking about. I don't know why it's standing room only, or they'll have like a limited number of seats in a specific section, and that is for a lot of people a turnoff. I've heard that with other acts that come here, it's like. I don't want to go stand up like a, <laughs> or like even for the price like I'm paying this much to stand like I don't can I my yeah. own chair I just sit here in my own chair right. <laughs> I, know. I know I I'm with you I I like the option to be able to sit down at least like give me that so. exactly even the ascend amphitheater there are seats up front yeah grassy knoll right I've mm -hmm. sat in both I sat in the seats and I sat on the grassy knoll mm -hmm. I'm still sitting you know what I mean yeah. so right. they didn't bother right. I put my own blanket I sit down it's fine um yeah. but I'm not yeah I'm not gonna stand up the whole time that's just not fun for me I was close to Nas at a scene just so you know listeners it's outdoor venue it's really but nice go together you're always close to him in your heart <laughs> good answer thanks for going with this narrative I go so <laughs> I was close and I was like, oh, and I didn't know when I got the tickets. I mean, I, you look at the little diagram like, oh, okay. And then I got there and I was like, he's going to be right there. And I'm like, right here. Like I was like three, the third row back. I was like, oh. Because the first row, you look over their heads. Right. He's looking at you. What? Yeah. He was. And I had on my Nas t-shirt. So, you know. <sighs> so girl. He knew. He knew. <laughs> Peter. so yeah hey now um now, i don't mind no let me say this like if i go to a party mm -hmm. I'll stay all night. yeah and i think it's different because i'm dancing all night right um i might sit down for a few moments but i'm not a person that, like goes to the club and just sits there all night that's not my thing if i'm gonna sit down and talk i can sit at the house with a bottle of wine my friends you know i don't have to go outside outside to do that yeah you know but um I tend to dance all night when I'm actually at a club. So it's a little different, but festival, nah. And club, okay. 
well for me I'm, I will speak for myself I've completely aged out of a club right and I don't <laughs> this is I feel really old but I'm okay with it. I'm at peace with it I feel like especially here in Nashville what was once the club scene has turned into a lounge with hookah hookah that's like the new but and it skews younger it just does I mean you know that's yeah. it is that's what that industry is so yeah to try to try to go now I'm like I don't and I'm not a hookah person I'm not knocking anybody who does hookah. Yeah. but for me I'm kind of like with you Nace I'd rather go to like an intentional like this is a party this is at somebody's house somebody's you know it's a venue somewhere or even honestly it benefits a charity and we're having a good time like that's mentally just the space I'm in like I have no desire to go to a lounge (laughs) especially the ones here I'm like it's okay (laughs) but I realize I'm old I'm like I'm not their demographic so yeah (laughs) yeah I mean we have have some places you can hang like if you're gonna go to Plain Jane and just post up you can go there and post up I still have them in a pH which is hilarious um is Plain Jane just a bar though or is that hookah heavy too I've not seen hookah there thank god but, no, but i just i feel like who could invite a certain element that i'm like i don't want to be here yeah um <laughs> Billy right. bees in antioch they have hookah they do but it wasn't hookah heavy and they have a real menu so i'm yeah. excited about that real menu because i i like i like uh catfish and grits and right so, yeah. <laughs> that made me happy. food yes yes um yeah. So there are a couple places that I've been where, you know, it's that loungy vibe. But um, yeah, I'm not a big hookah person. And hookah got a grasp on the Black community, like real tight right now. Oh, oh. do you I'm hear like, me? It's in all the promotions, the two for one hookah. I'm like, like, I don't want to blow your COVID out on me. No. Man, you just want to and you was dancing you somebody will light up some weed you smell that and you keep it pushing like, it. you get you a drink somebody smoke next to you that's how this works and then it. all good in the world yeah yeah i yeah. don't want alice in wonderland caterpillar <laughs> exactly that's exactly what it is and i'm like no no so again i realize i've aged out of a lot of things and i am okay with that that's yeah. just not my scene so I mean, anyway some places like and that's okay. Like TSU homecoming, which is my national holiday. Um, there was a happy hour. I, exactly. The, there was a happy hour that I went to for years. Mm-hmm. And then I looked around, I'm like, they look a little young. And so then another happy hour popped off and I'm like, oh, our people migrated to this one. So now the kids took over that one. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Mm-hmm. And so I'm like, okay. And soon we'll migrate out of this to something yeah. else as well. I mean, yeah. We grow and evolve and change. And I know that sooner or later, I'll be part of that um, straw hat with the glitter band and like the rest of the senior saints. I already know. And be in there. Exactly. With the new track suit looking good. So, period. So, it is what it is. A fish sandwich, what? Girl, <laughs> I've never had a fish sandwich at homecoming. Really? Ever. I mean, I say it like I eat them, I don't eat them, but <laughs> I had them after homecoming. Yeah. But during homecoming, I'm normally running around so much and yeah. being so social. Mm-hmm. I don't want a fish smell on me, so I don't eat. Yeah, yeah I noticed how her voice changed. Anybody else notice? It got like bougie real quick. I don't want a fish smell on me. <laughs> You're basically on a liquid diet during homecoming. Those who know, know. But <laughs> no, no. You're on a liquid diet. And french fry. No, I like I'm reckless. <laughs> you have a potato. You have I'll a potato. potato. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So. That's hilarious. <laughs> and you smell like fish. <laughs> you never know what the night might bring. Not gonna Hello. Be, so you got to be ready. Oh, my gosh. Yes. So, okay. Speaking of partying, all that. It's summertime. What's what are you listening to? We got Beyonce. What's your top five summertime jams? So guess what I'm listening to right now? I'm listening to Hillary Clinton's new nonfiction book. So that's what I'm listening to on on my Kindle every chance I get. 
And I'm also reading Stacey Abrams' fiction book. So I am super excited about those. So every free moment I get, that's what I'm listening to, which is not the answer you want my face you're making. Um, but that's awesome. <laughs> that's your summertime playlist. I'd be happy too. Okay, that, and they make you happy. They make me happy. Mm-hmm. I gotta find joy where I can right now. Absolutely. Um, okay, summertime playlist. I don't know. <laughs> you go first, because... I mean, really? sometimes on there. I'm not prepared. I didn't write it down. <laughs> right. It, it was summertime. We have that in common. Yes. Yeah, and DJ Jazzy Jeff. Yes. Because it's the okay. anthem. I mean, you got to start. The, summer doesn't start without that, right? Right. Exactly. No. It's, it's like yeah. you can't play, you know, start Christmas without the temptation. Exactly. So that starts Christmas. <laughs> Hello. It does. You're right. You never lied about that. So yeah, that summertime is on mine. Um, I th- for me because this next one it had a visual that said first day of summer. I was added to my list, and that would be Amory's. Why don't we fall in love? Okay. Literally, the video says first day of summer, so it's ingrained in my mind. Like this is a summer song. Okay. It doesn't have to be, but you know, so. And she's outside, she's talking about love. So that's typically, is usually on my list. Um, I put Frankie Beverly and Maze before I let go. Their, I, their version is for me the version. I love Beyonce, but. It's a back there when you fall, so it goes. Yeah, summertime, cookout, all that. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know what else I listen to in the summer. Oh, okay. That's three. <laughs> What's something that made me think of being naked? I mean, like, summer, like you said, just you know, like skin. Yes. <laughs> um. Hmm. I know. Yeah. Let me look. I'm gonna Google this. I like um Wayne Wonders. <gasps> yes. No letting go. Mm-hmm. Great choice, Nasa. Yeah, that's a good, like, okay, summer's here. Get a little yeah. naked, do a little dance. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So, Get a little naked. <laughs> naked. Yeah. Like, summer anthems. I'm going to look some up too. Let's see. Let's look. Mine are all, okay. So I do, I think because the sample for summertime came from Cool in the Gang, I do like Summer Madness. I tend to listen to that. I like Summer Madness. Oh, hi, Marvin Gay Got to give it up. That's a good one. Last year, I did. I love Marvin Gaye. Last year, and even now, um, Essence by Wizkid. So Afro Beats, mm. I really like for summertime. Yeah. But Essence really had a chokehold on the diaspora last year. Like, that was... <laughs> and so much so, Justin Bieber did a remix with it, and but that song was very popular. I still listen to it. So I'll, yeah, I'll throw some Afro beats in there. That's um, what I've come up with. If I'm going to do Afro beats, I like, what's a, Two Savage? Know? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody's Son? Yeah, it's with Brandy, right? Mm-hmm. And, yeah. Okay. It's a vibe. I feel like we should do a Go Ladies uh, list. A playlist? Mm-hmm. Ours would be so very different. Yeah. Um, <laughs> 10 songs, five apiece. What is that DJ Khaled and Rihanna song? Wild Thoughts. Uh, wow, Anna. What could she miss, I know. I like that one. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I am. Wild Thoughts. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You have wild thoughts. <laughs> Open. And so um yeah, that's that's the one. <laughs> I look so innocent too. I smile like this. Who looks innocent? Me, I look innocent. The devil is a lie. I don't I'm sipping tea. Don't do that. that <laughs> no. It's innocent, isn't it? Y'all don't see this. We're trying to make. No, this is look. Watch, watch again, watch again. Okay. I'm down. 
No. So the shoulder gives it. The shoulder gives it. No, the shoulder is giving naughty. No, it's giving innocent. Like this. <laughs> I got it. It's giving something else is happening. So don't get don't get innocent. I'm trying. No, it don't. No, and that's okay. Own your sexy. <sighs> you know, it is what it is. You're sultry. That's what we. That I'm is you. Sultry. You are sultry. I am cute. You are sultry. Sultry. Yes. I love it. So yeah. I like the playlist. We need to do that. It's summertime. Okay. I have it to go. Do you have it to go? I have one if you don't. Take a nap. Take a nap. Mine is money. What does money make you? <laughs> What's up, new booty? Okay. Uh <laughs> Miss New Booty. <laughs> oh, 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 see. Okay. I think feet, don't I? It came out the tongue. The tongue definitely came out. Oh. Yeah, I know she's not innocent and sweet. Really? She's sweet. You are very sweet. Thank you. But, you know, she's a freak of the week. She's a freak of the week. She's a freak of the week. She's well, freak of the week. Never missing a beat. Yeah. My book's on tape. Like, <laughs> <laughs> woo. That's so That's sexy. sexy. It okay. is. Don't nobody want a dummy. You know I don't. You better be an intellect. Hell. You know I am not gonna rock. What have you read recently? And it's so good. Both of the books too okay. have the kind of the same kind of spin. Okay. So it's so interesting. I'm listening to one and reading one. It's like mm-hmm. ha, ha. It's very cool. Very good. Mm-hmm. I like it. I'm here for it. She needs an intellect, y'all. You got to be smart. Please, Lord. If you have intellect and you got a Jeep Wrangler and get me to get out the house for any period of time, you really are winning because <laughs> mm-hmm. I work all the time. So you can get me away from my home. Mm-hmm. And if I come outside day. and put on some clothes to hang out with you, yeah, I yeah. obviously like you. <laughs> Aww. Okay, I hope y'all are listening to that. Tell your uncles, daddies, daddies, whoever, cousin, brother, send them to NASA. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Make it happen. And outside of that, to go, I need you to hydrate because it's hot. It's hot. Well, my to go is hydrate, pray, and mind your business. That's a good one. That's a good one. I like it. That works. Okay, very good. Thanks for joining us. Where can they find us, Nace? On the Instagram and on YouTube and on Spotify and iTunes. And uh, apparently right here because Faith got her boobies on the camera. So they are. Look at I got my tail with the brown dress on. Y'all I see. Your tail with the brown dress. Your boobies sitting up high. Your girl. They got oh. the people. They're <laughs> at the paper. Big Frida said release your wiggle. <laughs> <laughs> Make a love offering to a face titties. You can't. <laughs> Thank you, base. I'm glad they look good. They do. I want to see you roll them high. They good titties. <laughs> good job. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Oh, this is so good. Bye. <laughs>